Hello everybody, my name is G, and in today's video I am going to show you how to set up Vember Audio Search as a vocoder inside FL Studio. On top of that I will also be showing you how to set up Razer as a vocoder and how to set up Fruity Vocoder itself. Let's first start with some of the problems I have encountered. FL Studio separates its plugins into effects and generators. A generator cannot be added to an effect slot in the mixer and that is a problem because for some reason my Vemba Audio Search did not show up as an effect at all. This should not happen. Vemba Audio Search should show up both as an effect and a generator but for me it didn't so I had to go around troubleshooting for about 5 hours to finally figure out how to get around this problem. After many hours of troubleshooting on the Search Discord server, one of the members sent me an FLP which already had an instance of Search loaded into the mixer. I was then able to add the plugin to the plugin database and thus to the effects and now I can load it flawlessly whenever I want. So assuming you've installed Vember Audio Search correctly and it shows up as an effect properly, let's get to the tutorial itself. Okay, so let's first start with the modulator voice. These vocals were recorded by Shell Music Effects for my hardstyle song Souls of Shame. As you can hear they are very breathy and whispery. That is the type of vocal you want for a vocoder. So, in order to set this up correctly you need two mixer channels. One for the vocoder itself and one for the vocals. We're going to name these vocoder and modulator. The next thing we need is a MIDI out on our channel rack which is going to control the MIDI data for our vocoder. Now we're going to set the port on the MIDI out to port 1. It doesn't really matter what port you choose as long as it is the same as on the vocoder. Ok, now send your vocals to the modulator channel on the mixer. Click on the modulator channel and right click the little hook on the vocoder channel down here and select sidechain to this track only. This step is really important because we have now connected the two mixer channels and we can now receive the vocal inside of Vember Audio Search once we load it in. Ok, now we're going to load Search into the vocoder mixer channel. If you cannot find it in this list, make another scan and try if you can find it then. If you still cannot find it, you need to go to the Vember Audio Search Discord channel and ask for help. Ok, now let's load the vocoder effect into one of the effect slots. You ideally want to put it into one of the master effects so it will always be addressed no matter what scene of search is active. Ok, now that we've done that, the easy part is over. Let's get to the hard stuff. Click the little gear icon on top of the wrapper that holds search. Go to the plugin settings and go to input port. Set the input port for MIDI to 1 or to whichever port you have selected on your MIDI out in the channel rack. Now go to the processing tab. Right click on sidechain in and select modulator. Then you're going to turn off scene A out and scene B out. Only stereo out must remain enabled. If you leave scene A out on as well, the vocoder will still work but you'll also get the dry signal from the synthesizer itself on top of the modulated signal. Ok, now that this setup is complete, you need to put some chords into the MIDI out that you've got on your channel rack. Now that you've done that, place a pattern with the chords and the audio into the playlist and play them together. The vocoder should now work flawlessly if you've got everything set up correctly. Ok, now let's move on to setting up Native Instruments Razer as a vocoder. We're going to use the same vocal sample as before and I'm going to copy it real quick so that we have two of them. Like with Vember Audio Search we're going to add a MIDI out on our channel rack and I'm going to set this one to port 2 because I already have Search on port 1. Now unlike with Search we do not need a second mixer channel for Razer to function as a vocoder. So we're going to route the copied audio track to a new mixer channel and we're going to call this one Razer Vocoder. Now Razer is a Reactor plugin so you can only use it inside of Reactor or Reactor Player. Now open Reactor, select Patch, navigate to Razer and drop it into the synthesizer. Now go to the Presets, Embedded, Aerosmith, Initialize. Alright, so the first thing we obviously want to do is go to Filter 1 and select the vocoder. The next thing we want to do is click on the top of the synthesizer where it says Mono and set it to Poly. Now that we've done that, we want to turn down the glide completely. This by the way is all up to taste, you can have a monophonic vocoder with glide if you want to have that, you don't need to set it to poly. Alright, now that we've done that, we once again need to click on the little gear icon on top of the wrapper, navigate to plugin settings and select input port 2 for MIDI. 
And that's pretty much everything you need to do to set up Razer as a vocoder in FL Studio. So I'm going to put some chords into a pattern clip for MIDI Out 2 and I'm going to put it in the playlist together with the second audio sample. And voila, everything's working. Oh. Now, last but not least, how to use Fruity Vocoder and Vocodex. For this setup you need three mixer tracks. Now, the Fruity Vocoder itself is not a synthesizer, so we need something else to create the carrier sound for it. For that we're going to pick this inconspicuous and not at all interesting synthesizer right here. It doesn't matter what synthesizer you use for it, you can use basically anything that generates sound in order to create a carrier for this vocoder. So let's set up the mixer channels. We want to have one that's named carrier, one that's named vocoder and one that's named modulator. On the vocoder mixer track we're going to load in fruity vocoder. Now we want to connect the carrier mixer track and the modulator mixer track to the vocoder mixer track only. They must not be connected to the master channel as well. Only the vocoder. And they must not be sidechained either. This must be at full volume. Now make sure that you have your synthesizer hooked up to the carrier mixer track and your vocal sample to the modulator mixer track. Alright, this next bit is going to be a little bit confusing. The fruity vocoder distinguishes between carrier and modulator signal by left and right audio channel. So the carrier and the modulator need to be on opposing channels and those channels need to be set up correctly inside the fruity vocoder. By default and in my case, the left channel is for the modulator and the right channel is for the carrier. So set them up accordingly inside of your mixer. Alright, now add your chords to your carrier sound, place it in the playlist and put your vocal sample on top of it. The setup for Vocodex is exactly the same. The difference however is that Vocodex does not need the left and right audio channel distinction. So you can just center those and select the correct channel inside of Vocodex itself. And there you go, congratulations! You now know how to set up a vocoder in FL Studio, no matter which one it is. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a comment and subscribe. And as always, have an awesome day!